Hey everybody, Lulu here with Lulu's Gaming Network. We're going to be checking out Cozy Grove. So let's get started. I know this game is fairly new, so we're going to see what it's all about. Play a little playthrough. We might keep doing some playthrough if everybody enjoys it. And I'll just keep making videos on it, as including everything else. So we're a little camper. Now that the purple eyes. Let's stick with the purple. I like the purple. That's cute. Now it's time to begin our camping trip. We're going to open a letter. Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that provision Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so be cautious. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scout Services Spirit Scout Motto All those who are lost, diverse kindness. Alright, let's move around here. See where we need to go. We want to go up. See what we got going on. What is that? Oh, a little fire. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Let's see. Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove? I know the name. I've licked it off full brochures tossed in my embers. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, despite for help, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah, well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? Yes, that's the spirit. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting here a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. So it looks like we got some difference to the area now. Oh, let's see if all this little... Looks like a bear. Charlotte Pine. Huh. Another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warbler hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That that does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. A problem. Hmm. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. It did not go as planned. No use still in the past, though, is there? 
You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. That tongue tied. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it, toss it in the fire. That should make things a little less make things a little cozier for us both. Pick it up. Come back to the fire. Throw the log in. Whoa. <laughs> Flamey got big. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? Ghost told, uh, ghost told me about it. From a bear in a ranger suit? <laughs> I like that. Where did I actually get it from, though? Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died. If enough time has passed since they passed away. Ah, the spirit wood is fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, a crafter of useful things. And now he's little again. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. A bit small though, huh? <laughs> well, wants us to go find some more wood. Alright. Ooh, so things start. We're appearing. We got coins. Okay. Okay. Right around here and collect all these coins. Oh. Okay, hey, they got a grill going. What was that? Oh, I guess we can't go up there right now. <coughs> Oh, there's another one. Oh, what are those? Oh, better not scare them. <laughs> Jerry Griffel. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. That's very, very, very kind of you. <laughs> More than I deserve, I'm sure. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you. Maker buddy? Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as a ghost goes. Bring me through branches, okay? I promise. I'll make it worth your while. Alright, so we're going to go find three branches. Let's see, there's one. I do like the, the artwork, the way it's just very simply hand drawn. I think it's pretty. The, the music's nice. It's very relaxing. Oh, I don't want to scare them. I guess they'll come back. Oh, there's two. I think. I don't know what around here. He's going to make us a fishing pole. 
would be handy. Oh, there's the third one. Those sticks, what a beauty. A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Oh, a shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the lather. But if you want to dig up some soft dirt mounds on the island, shovel should do the trick. Oh, I know where some are. I think I saw some. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it. Darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, I didn't finish reading that. Oh, it's got color now. So I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have to fill up their little hearts so that they'll be able to go on. Wait. Uh, sweet potato. Might be a root of some sort. There will be any of those other corn coins. That looks like a regular potato. Maybe they are potatoes. I'll have to go check that out. Wonder what we do with the coins. Here's another log for him. Haha, <laughs> got big again. Well done, my light is expanding again. Now I see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Hmm, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And he as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Well, that can't be good. Did our boat disappear? Is that what they're talking about? In life, I was a barrel of the sea. I sped from cozy grove to the main and back a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly, twist the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. And now I am transformed. A vast young person. How long have you been standing there? He caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Bill Weather Snout, though some call me the Seagull Bear. Pleased to meet you. I don't know as we've reached the first name basis, young sailor. Oops, Captain will do. Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. 
except, of course, a love of fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. So, we have to find a fishing rod or we have to make a fishing rod? Wait, why did this lose its color? Sometimes you can find things on the island simply by exploring with a keen eye. Other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You might be surprised what you find. Just the other day I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. All this was colored. That is so strange. Hmm. That's a big old box. So we're looking for spots to dig up. And we're looking for leaf piles. Fishing rod at the merchant. Okay. Mr. Kit. Well, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen to quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the spirit scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch, I set the prices. Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. I need that. There we go. Now we have one. Okay. Um, so we go back the other way. <laughs> we still haven't found that book, though. Or so I guess you just go around. You know, of course, you know, you're helping out. Filling up the little hearts on the spirits. Did I not get that? Okay, there we go. I don't know what these are. Maybe the little campers? Maybe eventually we'll find out. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Gonna have to, uh, okay, take the rod and catch us a whopper. Alright, so story is advanced. So we go into our thing. Hold in hand. We're gonna back out. And I, oh, what's this? Seashell. And then I guess we're going to um, go fishing. I'm not sure how. Oh. 
Now what did it say to pull it up? Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I caught a fish. <laughs> a collapsed lungfish. Okay. Not sure if he'll consider that a whopper, but let's go find out. Right, we're already testing out. Either give me the one you've got or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. Um, how do we... Let's see. Let me go in our backpack. Hold this in our hand. Ah, uh, fine. Managed to dredge it up there. Good eating. I think you will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that the boat's washed to sea. My boat did what? Okay, so it was our boat. Ah, uh, yes. A loose knot and a fickle tide. And it took the sinew vessel, this merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself. This island's a... Measle storm of ill fortunes churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So, young sailor, though we're a, you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans you had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. And we got some more wood. And whoa, we got um, a lot of stuff going on now. Okay, cool. I like how the artwork just keeps appearing as you're working through everything. That's really quite neat. I think we will call it here for now. But I definitely think we'll come back and see more about how this one works more about how we're going to fill it in while other areas seem to fade out as we're filling in so I think we'll definitely be back on Cozy Grove finding out what's going on so until next time